It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. I am 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought, I should probably get up and do something, I thought, why? Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great Labor Day weekend. So I know I'm a bit late to this party, but I think it's really important to talk about. So this video by Julia Mazer went viral over the weekend with some responses from a few men sparking the usual response, counter-response war we see on social media. So Joshua Lakash, who's ironically host of a show called Wrong Opinion, shared the video first with this caption. All the happy, childless, almost 30-year-old females I've come across are so unimaginative with their free time. They all end up bragging about the same things and I'm not impressed. Wow, you get to stay up late and sleep in? Wait, you're telling me you can eat and watch whatever you want? Tim Paul said, it's a cope. Her life is meaningless. You don't need kids, but she has no purpose. And then Matt Walsh said this, her life doesn't revolve around her family and kids. So instead it revolves around TV shows and pop stars. Worst of all, she's too stupid to realize how depressing this is. So here's the clip they all shared. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought, I should probably get up and do something. I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. And I danced and drank my little heart out. And I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover this morning, which is probably why I was in bed for so long and I was just scrolling on my phone and I saw a picture of shakshuka and I thought you know what sounds really good maybe I'm gonna learn how to make shakshuka today because I have no plans and I don't have kids and I don't have a husband and I don't have errands to run I can go to the grocery store and learn how to make shakshuka so that's on my agenda today also on my agenda probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu which is really spicy and I highly recommend weirdly I'm into this documentary on Netflix about blue zone countries so I've got a pretty stacked day anyway I say all this to say whenever I'm hurt on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids Kids and I should be further along at 29, almost 30. I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuka I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. Of course, you can still do all these things if you're a parent. No one says you have to be a good parent. Get drunk, sleep in, turn on the TV, and throw the kid an iPad. But back to the video, like always, everyone except for me is wrong. So first off, people who responded to this public video were immediately criticized for daring to comment at all. That's really just dumb. If you put your thoughts out there, people are allowed to talk about it. It doesn't make you obsessed or creepy or sexist. But on the flip side, our society has gotten to a point now where you have to either be totally on board with someone or totally against them. They are either a genius or stupid. I watched this video and my immediate conclusion was just a shrug. You're allowed to enjoy your life and the idea of a good weekend isn't going to be the same for everyone or even the same for everyone at every stage of their life. I really think at this point, conservatives and a lot of conservative men have gone way too far. Yes, the left pushed the idea that women having children is somehow bad and that women are wrong to prioritize motherhood over everything else. But the answer to that is no, women should be free to choose to prioritize career, motherhood, both or neither if they want to because we live in a free country. It's really not that complicated. It's not like we're talking about abortion policy, but we've now moved into the space of deciding what's best for women we don't know, even when it comes to lazy Sundays. And there's also a massive gap between, yes, getting married is good, and everyone who isn't married right now and isn't jumping into a marriage with the next man that comes along is somehow a massive loser. Going to a concert, cooking at home and watching TV is hardly Sodom and Gomorrah, and mocking women like Julia only makes it harder to reach people who probably share at least some of our values on the importance of family. And if you think waking up 10 a.m. watching TV and cooking a meal is depressing, just think about what the average man is doing right now. And it gets worse when we acknowledge the obvious fact that mocking people online does have consequences, whether we like it or not. Here's Julia describing what happens soon after. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm 29 and single. Yesterday, someone named Matt Walsh decided to repost a TikTok video that I posted to his 2.4 million followers on X, formerly known as Twitter. And the way that his followers bullied me in the comments, reached out to me on social media, threatened me, was honestly abhorrent. Some of his followers said that I was gonna die alone. I should actually die and never leave my house. I should be sexually assaulted. I'm pathetic, I'm a whore. And that I was dead behind my eyes. Honestly, that one kind of made me laugh because I use Kosas concealer and I thought that it was working. No, 
but really if you haven't watched the video i suggest you watch it it's all about how i a 29 year old single female decided to spend my saturday watching reality tv learning how to cook shakshuka and sleeping in until 10 a.m these people were really 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 riled up about my choices on a saturday but here's the thing about social media while it can be a really crazy place which i experienced yesterday it's a place where there's content for everyone here's who i'm creating content for i'm creating content for people who are taking their time creating the lives that they want for themselves because it's the life that they want not something that society has deemed correct people who are feeling anxious in life because they haven't met their person yet or started a family aren't rushing or settling to meet someone because some internet troll is telling them that they're going to die alone and you know what there's a 40 to 50% divorce rate in the US. And I believe that figuring out who you are first and foremost and meeting your partner at that point is going to decrease that divorce rate. And if you're lucky enough to have the family and friends and support that I do, none of us are gonna die alone. And I believe that we're all gonna meet our people and we're gonna do it living life by our own terms. Life's too short to be living life figuring out what Matt Walsh wants us to do or what some internet troll behind their keyboard is saying. If anyone is wondering, the shakshuk I made was delicious and I'd love to share the recipe if anyone's interested. Now I'm not blaming the people who criticized or mocked Julia for the horrific things other people do and say on social media, but I do wanna ask this, is this how we win the culture war? One of Julia's friends, Alex Friedman, responded to all of this and here's what she said. The girl in the video below is a friend of mine from college, Julia. She hosts a podcast where she talks about breakups, relationships, and trying to love yourself at any stage you are in. The fact that Matt took her video out of context to build some commentary that fits a hyper-negative narrative and chooses to call her stupid is not just cruel, but flat out uninformed. The point of most of Julia's content is to say, even if you are alone, even if you are going through a breakup, even if you haven't found the one yet to start a family, there are ways to find joy through that. It just so happens that her Sunday joy is celebrating learning to cook a new dish and watch reality TV guilt-free. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And please, let's not forget when we share commentary on content, there are real people behind those videos and posts, and more often than not, we do not get a full picture in a few minutes long video or a few sentences. But what about the fact that conservatives complain about this all the time too? We're always being taken out of context. Media Matters built their entire company around it. But if it pisses us off when they do it, why are we doing the same thing here? And worse, why are we doing the same thing to people we could potentially be bringing over to our side? Because who has ever had their mind changed by being called stupid? No one. What's hilarious here is that a lot of the people I'm seeing criticizing Julia or calling her stupid and depressing are married men. But what would happen if they wanted to convince their wives of something and they started by calling them stupid or depressing? Probably wouldn't go too well. You know what, dear? You're right. I am a moron. And yet we're amazed that so many women like Julia have no interest whatsoever in hearing what we have to say. So for all the conservative men out there, how about this idea? It's fine to call people stupid on social media if they're being really stupid. And it's fine to think Julia's video is silly or misguided. But when the anger dial is at 11 for absolutely everything, all we end up doing is slamming the door in people's faces and proving to an awful lot of women that everything they think about conservative men is 100% true.